how was it coming off sugar? <laughs> was it, what, did it actually feel that like you were having withdrawal symptoms? Um, I wouldn't say it felt like withdrawal symptoms for me. It felt like... Uh, I was very hungry, and right. hunger was a massive thing for me. I was mm. like, I'll do the show, but I can't be hungry. <laughs> I really associated hunger with a really negative thing. Right. Um, and so that kind of gave me the right to just eat whatever I wanted. Mm. And a lot of the food that we cooked was lovely. So um, for the first sort of week, did you not have any sugar at all? No, no nothing. fruit, nothing. Nothing, And well, the whole time, we just have to have um, whole foods. Right. Um, obviously, no alcohol, nothing fizzy. Um, but we didn't even have access to these things, even if we wanted them. It wasn't sort of mm. like, you know, you have to stop your temptation. Right. <laughs> Angelique, the nutritionist, used to say, well, you know, if you're hungry, you can have some cashew nuts. And I'd be like, oh, what? Cashew <laughs> nuts. Yeah, just forget Give it. Give me some ice cream. <laughs> yeah, so there was nothing really to snack on. No, it's so you just, you just have so to you go just cold had turkey. To. Do you feel better in yourself, though? Yeah. Do you feel like almost you've been cleansed? Yes. Do you know what I mean? And I didn't think I felt... Um, bad to start right, with. Right. I didn't think that I was particularly tired. I didn't think that I had sort of, you know, moods of being, like, kind of low. Yeah. Um, I knew I'd put on a bit more weight than I wanted to, and, it, and I'd kept putting on. There was a pound every now and then mm. was going on. And I've lost 18 pounds in total. Wow. So, which, you know, I haven't really even tried to lose. It's just been three meals a day, not right. eating between meals. So it's all about when you go out shopping now, you buy, like, food yeah. that you can just cook fresh, or you yeah. just have to look at the labels exactly. to see what's in there? I was always a, a kind of cook-from-scratch person. I really right. enjoy cooking, and I love baking as well. So trying, I now try and bake sugar-free um, cakes and oh. desserts and things. Right, so. okay. and just, is that, do they taste as good? Yeah, they yeah. taste They taste really good. They do. They don't taste exactly the same. There's some of your... You should have brought some oh, in. I would have done. You should have. You should have. But they only last a couple of days, <laughs> especially with me. I bet uh, they do. Yeah, so it was for you, it was a really positive experience. Yeah, absolutely. The whole thing was very positive. Yeah, yeah. And do you think this now, this is for life, you'll carry it on? I, I do intend to um, address everything that I eat uh, when I have yeah. any kinds of drinks. Now, I, I walk Water was a massive issue for me. You'll probably see on the show. I never had a glass of water in my life. I always had some sort of juice in. Right. Um, and I just thought I would die of dehydration before I died of starvation <laughs> on the show, to be honest. Uh, but now I drink more water, flavour sure. it with lemon or lime. Um, so there's lots of things that I won't, I won't even touch now. Um, right. I mean, if I did have a, some sugar, maybe in a cake or something, that's something that I've chosen to do or that's, mm. you know, I, I, it's not hidden and it's not, you know, it's yeah. it, it's something that I'm, I'm aware of. Because it's all things in moderation, isn't it, as well? Yeah, I mean, absolutely. you know, of course you were doing this as an experiment, so you yeah. wouldn't have any drink, you know, you wouldn't have a glass yeah, of wine or whatever. Sure. But, you know, life's too short not to, frankly. Sure. So it's about sort of just... Changing your lifestyle, isn't yeah. it? Just changing your lifestyle. So I've just changed my lifestyle. I've changed my choices and, yeah, feel a lot better for it, oh. definitely. Do you know what? We miss you and Corey. Aww. We do. <laughs> but I saw you in that brilliant David Williams thing. Wasn't oh, that wasn't fantastic? it lovely? That was, such that was so fun. lovely to be part of that. It was so well written and everyone in it was so brilliant. It was great. Billionaire boy. Yeah. Oh, I love that. They should repeat that. Because that was on just over Christmas time, wasn't yeah. it? I remember yeah. seeing it. I thought it was really good fun. Yeah, some great characters in that. Yeah. It's a sweet story. Really, really good. And, of course, we see you in Hollywood. Yorks as the yes. as the good doctor. Dr. Barrington, Indeed. the bearer of bad news. <laughs> exactly. Every time she comes on, you're like, uh oh. Yeah, sorry. What's yeah, I think we need to get you in for biopsy as soon as possible. But I guess Corey was then you've moved on from that, it's always going to be part of your life. Isn't yeah, it? She absolutely. She could come back, you know. Uh, technically she could, yes. She didn't die. No. She just went off in a huff. She did went off in a massive huff. And um, <laughs> yeah, I still, you know, I know a lot of people still in the show sure. and you know I catch it from from time to time. But I've done a lot of other things and of played course. some other great characters, and it's it's really nice to look forward and you know obviously like the farm it's a great experience and yeah, it just gives you the ability to do other things when you're you know you're not actually just sure. on one show so that's tonight yes on it's tonight, tonight. Yeah, I'm nervous. To, no you're not <laughs> looking forward to seeing it thank you so much oh, thank, right. you, thank you for having me you. you look younger now than you did in Corrie thanks, really do. thanks. Yeah. <laughs>